Well, you guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at testing hard drives for problems. Now, the first thing to do before you start testing your hard drive, if you think it's failing, is make a backup of that data. You need to either clone the drive or make a backup of all that data because if the drive lets go while you're testing, then you're going to lose all that data. So let's take a look at method one. Now, there's many ways of testing a hard drive. Method one is built into Windows itself. You can go to this PC here and then on the drive itself that you want to check, you can right click on it and go to properties here. And inside the properties box, all you need to look for here is a section uh, called tools. You click on the tools tab and inside the tools tab, you will then see error checking and you can check for errors on that drive. So when you click on that, it will say uh, you do not need to do a scan on this drive because obviously it's already checked and you can say scan this drive if you just want to do it anyway. Once you click on this button here, it will go through and start scanning the drive. Now, if you have got errors and stuff like that, they will show up. And uh, this is the first sort of stage of checking your drive. So that's one method you can use. So let's try method two here. We're going to go to the search box and type CMD and right click on command prompt and run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and this will open up administrator command prompt box. Inside here, you can type in check disk. Now you've also got check disk space C and that will be the drive that you want to scan and also space forward slash R and also space forward slash F. You can use those uh, sort of switches if you want to uh, check your disk and the R means recover bad sectors, the F means fix errors, and the X, which you can use, which will force a dismount of that drive. So you can type it out like this. You can do one at a time. You can do check disk uh, space forward slash R, or you can do check, check disk space forward slash F if you want to. You can also just do check disk space C, colon like so, and that will run a, a check disk on that drive for you. So this will go through a three stage check here and start giving you some information about the actual drive itself. So you can see it uh, scanning away there on the drive. There we go, stage three, and it's now complete. And it's give us some information there, what we can actually uh, read up on like bad sector zero and stuff like that. So let's take a look at method three. Now method three, you can run this program as administrator here. It's called uh, check disk GUI and uh, we're going to take a look here so you can see here it's a very simple program which you can use it tells you the drive is not dirty you can highlight the drive by putting a tick in a box and then on the bottom right hand side you can see we have three areas called read only fix fix and recover now when you push these you'll sometimes get a little error coming up like that if the drive is in use or, or something like that and you can see here if i click on fix you'll get cannot look at the current drive check this cannot uh, run because it's uh, volume is being used by another process so you can say restart here and it will then ask you to restart the system so we're going to reboot the system when you reboot the system it will go into a check uh, disk mode you can see here to skip the checking uh, press any key don't push any keys and it will go into a check disk mode and allow you to check the disk for errors there you go, and it's starting to go through that process right now. So that's one way you can do that as well. And you can also boot up to a CD, Windows CD, and do the same thing as well in Troubleshoot and stuff like that. You've seen me use that method before. Uh, I've not put that in this video, but you can do that if you wanted to as well. So let's take a look at another method here, uh, method four. Using Minitool Partition Wizard. This is a free program you can download and use also have paid versions there as well so we're just going to go ahead and install this now again these are just some of the methods that you can do there is loads of other ways of checking drives these are just some of them that i wanted to share with you guys so let's go ahead and uh, install that software so i'm going to accept the agreement and go through the motions here by pushing next you may get this pop up here you want to untick this because you don't want a norton security deluxe going in so that is a piece of software that is bundled in there so you just don't want that okay so we're just going to go ahead and skip that part of the installation and here we have the software itself now we're going to open up uh, the mini tool partition wizard and here we have the software here itself 
Now there's a bunch of features in here you can use like wipe disk and delete all the partitions and also re rebuild MBR and also run a surface test. Now what a surface test is going to do is do a quick check for errors on that drive and you can see it's running through its paces right here. Just leave that running and it will uh, detect any sort of errors on that drive. So it's very easy to do and they will show up red or green and it's very easy. So that's another way of checking your drive. Now I don't want to see in the comments section, oh you could have done this, oh you could have done that. There's tons of ways of checking drives. I do know quite a lot of ways. This is method five. We're going to boot up to a WinPE here. Now if your system is not booting up, you can boot up to a WinPE, uh, which you can download for free. This one is Hirons uh, Boot CD PE. And there we are, we're at the desktop here. Just going to let this load in. And it's just going to load all the uh, network in so we've got access to the internet. Now inside here this comes uh, pre-built uh, for you so it's got all the utilities that you need. You can see here are disk tools. You can do data recovery and diagnostics and stuff like that. So let's go into the diagnostic area here. And inside here we've got a bunch of tools that we can use to diagnose our hard drive. So if the computer is not booting up and you want to check your hard drive and you don't want to take the hard drive out, you can use something like HDD scan. You can see here under the test section, we've got verify, we've got read, we've got a butterfly, we've got erase. So basically uh, you can run a bunch of these and these are read data uh, from the drive. And you can see here, we're going to verify just to show you how it works. Let's verify in here, just click this arrow on the side and it will start to run. You can see it running down the bottom there. And of course we're on a virtual machine here, so it's a virtual drive. And there's no errors on here, but I just want to show you it's highlighted here. So you've got some other areas here which you can stop task, pause start, uh, task and delete task. And this gives you some information about that drive itself. There's also some other areas we can look at inside this piece of software. You can see we get a report here and you can look at the LBA. Let's go back into that software again. I just want to show you some of the other features that this uh, software does have. And going to the tools section here, you can see drive ID, features, smart tests, temp on and stuff like that. So you do have other tools inside here which you can use and also inside the test area there is also uh, some verify read and you can do a readme test on that drive as well and it will start to run a readme test uh, as you can see here it's running away. So there is quite a few little tools inside this WinPE that you can use. Let's take a look at HD Tune. Inside HD Tune you can see here we've got some information like error scan, health scan and also information and also benchmark. So if you want to run an error scan on that drive. We can do a quick scan here and that will run a quick surface test on that drive to test whether the drive is failing. You can also do health tests and also get some information about there. You can read the smart, as you can see here, supported features, um, write cache, uh, read, read and writes, stuff like that. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this software. It's pretty cool. And you can see here we're running a benchmark here so you can run benchmarks and it will give you a benchmark uh, score on there as well. So as you can see, very useful piece of software uh, for PC techs as well. And uh, especially if your system is not booting up, you can use that. Now this is probably uh, a real go-to tool for a lot of PC repair techs, which is Western Digital Lifeguard Diagnostics. This will allow you to run a thorough test on that drive to see whether the drive is failing. Now you can use Crystal Disk first off to read the smart and then you can run something like this to test the drive itself. And of course you don't need to use this in a pre-installed environment. You can run this from the desktop and you can also uh, make your own copy of this on your own uh, CD if you want to make a bootable USB flash drive. So you don't have to use the whole WinPE thing if you don't want to. But once you've got this set up here, you can see these little icons here. You need to run this test here. Uh, for this so you just click on there and it will say quick test, extended test, erase and so on. So now you can choose what you want to do so quick test will give you a quick test of the drive so click OK here 
and it will go ahead and do a quick test of that drive. Now an extended test will test the drive sector by sector and uh, you can then see whether there's, uh, the drive is failing. So you can see it's got a pass rate there, puts a tick in there and you can go ahead and do something more in depth if you find that the uh, drive is still playing up. Now another piece of software you can use is from this website here, Paran. You can have a look here and uh, we've got some software which we can use. They've got other software on here which he does uh, create as well. And hit the download button and that will start to download this software. Now of course you can go to the manufacturer's website of the creator of that hard drive and use their uh, software to scan the drive for uh, errors or bad sectors and that's uh, a sort of thing that I like to do. I try to stick with uh, the manufacturer's software when it comes to running tests on hard drives. Now I will use Crystal Disk uh, to do a quick smart test uh, but generally uh, all these pieces of software are okay but I like to use the manufacturer's software that created that drive so Western Digital, OU's Western Digital software and so on Seagate you've got loads of other ones here but these software are available and you can use them they're just the an idea to show you how you can use this software to test a drive. There's nothing wrong with them, they will do a check on the drive. Now everyone's going to have their own favourite bit of software and their own way of testing stuff and you can see here this one has a very simple GUI interface, it's just got a, a few things on here called scan, fix, fix and recover and boot time, uh, disk check and you can see here we can highlight our drive and we can run some checks on the drive and it will run a scan on that drive and it will then give us some information at the end of it and we can see here it's going through the stages I'm not sure whether it's using uh, part of Windows to check uh, that and pull the information through a GUI interface I'm not sure if it's doing something like that it probably is uh, so that's what I would have thought it's doing so the software itself is not doing it it's probably Windows uh, using its built-in Windows checking tool and it's bringing the information to you inside this GUI interface that's the way uh, I look at it. I could be completely wrong, but that's the way I think it's uh, working. But anyway, that's pretty much it. That's uh, another piece of software you can look at. And I can go on all day because there's tons of them on the internet. But just remember the golden rule back up, back up, back up before you do any sort of work on a drive if you think it's failing. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.